The following is a presentation of Strictly Boxing News. I got some news for you. It was just announced April 23rd that Manny Pacquiao is going to fight Amir Khan. What's your reaction to that? Um, good luck. Mm -hmm. I don't think they're going to make a Floyd Mayweather payday, but good luck to both competitors. What do you think about that style? Well, I last time I seen Amir Khan, he said that, um, I, I mean, he thought that he was able to do the same thing to Canelo. Canelo yeah. But, you know, Canelo is a beast. Canelo is tough. You know, one thing we can't take away from Canelo, he can fight his ass off. Hey, what's up, Floyd? But first of all, before we continue, happy belated birthday, my brother. You know what I'm saying? You done hit the big 40. Now, I know I'm one of your biggest critics here, critics here on YouTube. But, you know, I ain't a hater. I'm going to give credit where credit is due. Happy birthday. Congratulations, my my brother. Shit. I mean, you got Bobby Brown on stage dancing and shit. Over there with a big, with a big ass gut, all out of shape. Damn, I used to be a huge. I still am a huge Bobby Brown fan. Any for life, new edition for life. You know what I'm saying? But Floyd, before we continue though, you might. Hey, get the pen and paper, bro. Write this down. Write this down. Tell, pull the OG to, or pull the OG to the side, Bobby Brown. Tell him, look here, bro. John Gildon said on the Breakfast Club, Uncle Al Heyman is going to put. All of a new edition, Ronnie, Bobby, Ricky, Mike, Ralph, and Johnny too, on a goddamn tour. So, brother, you might want to get your ass in shape, okay? You can come to the floor, I mean, we're at the gym, and I can hook you up. You know what I'm saying? I can hook you up with USADA. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> Shit. But, yeah, let me holler at you for a second, though, Floyd, man to man. No, it's cool. I ain't, ain't going to take too long. I ain't going to take too long. Don't trip. Now, Floyd, look here, bro. God done bless you with fame. He done bless you with fortune. And yes, he done bless you with several fornication options for the rest of your life. So why are you over here hating on Manny Pacquiao and Amir Khan? Nigga you, nigga, you know what you said. Roll that shit. I got some news for you. It was just announced April 23rd that Manny Pacquiao is going to fight Amir Khan. What's your reaction to that? Um, good luck. Mm -hmm. I don't think they're going to make a Floyd Mayweather payday, but good luck to both competitors. Okay, then. Why you gotta be a hater, bro? And let me ask you something else. Is everything about the monetary value to you? Is that all that matters? How much money he makes? How much it's worth? I mean, damn. I mean, come on, Floyd. Why are you so insecure, Pacquiao? Might upsta upstage you doing three things you apparently didn't have the guts to do in your carefully maneuvered career, like I said before. I mean, you know what I'm saying. You know what I mean. Like I said before, when it's all said and done. Because remember, what, shit, 2014, you put out a similar poll asking on Twitter. Like I said before, who do y'all who do y'all want to see me fight? Amir Khan or Marcos Maidana? Amir Khan, salam alaikum, my Muslim brother. I mean, I ain't Muslim, but my great-grandmother's a Muslim, so I know a little bit about that shit. So, Amir Khan, salam alaikum to you, my brother. Now, Amir Khan won the popular vote. And the motherfucker won the electoral vote, the electoral college. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Meaning, several people yet picked the Khan to fight, for you to fight him. He was your mandatory on top of that. But you were like, no, fuck that. Like I said before, fuck your vote. I'm going to fight Marcus Maidana. At least Manny Pacquiao most likely will fight the, who the fans selected. If Barbarum don't try to fuck that up. Because I saw Barbarum's statement. Pacquiao is down. Shit. Number two. Pacquiao will be using Vada testing, something you never did in your illustrious career and something you declined to do. And Floyd, come on, man. We all know your history with USADA. 
allegedly. Floyd, how Floyd is there going to be any drug testing for this fight? Uh, how much drug testing? Man, Floyd, uh, of course, Floyd Mayweather is, is the face of boxing, and it's all about cleaning the sport up. I want to. I want to be in a, in a in a very very clean and healthy sport, and I always want to be on a, a even playing field. Which anti doping agency will you be using? Uh, the best. Okay then, so you know goddamn well you never use Vada and Manny Pacquiao is fighting the guy who the fans voted on Twitter for him to fight. <laughs> so that's two things. Number three, Pacquiao most likely will be fighting on the road one more time. And if you go to his box rec right now, you hardly ever see, where the fuck is Manny Pacquiao from? Somewhere in, in the Philippines. I don't know what that shit is at. But if you go to the, his box rack right now, you, you want me to pull up his box rack and compare it to yours. You consistently fought in one place, Las Vegas, for 11 goddamn years. At least Manny Pacquiao was spreading the love. He's fighting all over. So that's a, the third thing he's doing. And on top of that, again, he ain't going to be over there picking the ring like you, picking the ring size, the judges, the gloves, the drug testing agency. The underwear his opponents wear and all that other old bullshit. You know what I'm talking about. Like I said, man, I mean, you know, just being in this situation and I seen how powerful, you know, his promotion and just he is when it comes to this boxing game, mm -hmm. when it comes to the promotion, when it comes to the judging, when it comes to the referees, when it comes, you really get to see, you know, how strong a guy is. You we know? went to that fight. I know I had, you know, everything. Yeah, I mean, everything against me. Like I said, you pick the referee, you pick the judges. It's his, it's his you know, MGM brand. Uh, um, it's his promotion. I know I had, you know, everything. Yeah, I mean, everything against me. Like I said, you pick the referee, you pick the judges. It's his, it's his you know, MGM brand. Uh, um, it's his promotion. You know, he set up the drug testing. They came knocking on my door three times a week. You know, he set up the drug testing. They came knocking on my door three times a week. Four or five o'clock in the morning. You know what I'm saying? Like you against all odds. So you have to knock him out. Okay then. So Berto already put us on game and I knew about this before the Andre Berto fights. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Even you and Leonard Ellaby, y'all confirm what Berto says. So if any of your fanboys are gonna come over here saying well Berto is lying, well, ain't this what you and Leonard Ellaby said? But at the end of the day, what it comes down to is that he who is on the A side, he's the one that controls. He's the one that you are. You're as clean as they do. Thank you. <laughs> you know, that's what that's what being the A side is about having leverage. You know what I'm saying? It's, and that's all it is. We always listen. Anybody with anybody, we're in the situation. We I don't want to cut you off, but they need to start talking about your dressing. <laughs> Thank you. Help me kill Help me kill Thank you. We always we always gonna put every opponent at a disadvantage. That's what's gonna happen. Because Floyd has earned the right to do that. Them like it's some, no, them like some Gucci and Louis Vuitton. Or Fair Dollar. What's the Fair Dollar? Okay. <laughs> okay then. So shit. So as you can see, Manny Pacquiao ain't doing none of this shit. He's fighting who won the vote. They will be using Vada drug testing. It will be on the road. And it will be an action-packed fight. So why are you over here hating, bro? Why you sound so insecure? Well, because shit, deep down inside, you know your fights hardly ever met these standards. Is that what it is? And like I said in the beginning, who gives a shit if it won't do your numbers? I mean, keep it real. All your so-called big numbers was because you fought other big stars. Oscar De La Hoya, Canelo, and Pacquiao. In that order. So, it don't matter. 
You know what I'm saying? Shit, it took you fighting somebody else that had a huge fan base for you to do big numbers. So why are you away bragging? We were like, I said, before you're going to do my numbers, please. Goddamn hate it. And another thing, I got to ask this. When will you realize, Floyd, that some of the greatest fights in the history of the sport were given to us fans for free and they had action? Shit. I know you can't stand the fact that everybody brings up Muhammad Ali, but goddamn, the OG gave us Ali versus Foreman Rumble in the Jungle. I think, well, I wasn't around, but I think it was free. Action packed fight. Third in Manila. Action packed. I mean, if that's going too, too far back in the day, okay, fine. Let's bring it to, to, to closer to this era. Thurman Porter, just last year. That shit was action packed. This year, your, promo, your fighter, James um, Badu Jack, and James DeGill gave us an action packed fight. Um, Dillian White versus Derek Chisora. Dominic Brazil versus the African brother. He just fought all, several action packed fights since you retired. So, nigga, don't nobody give a fuck about what numbers your boring ass fights were doing. No wonder George Foreman recently said, I'll never support Floyd Mayweather pay per view box. Mm, not me. Shit. Anyway, Floyd, I'm, I'm about to wrap this up, man. I'm going to close this out by saying to you, bro. What, well, you're 40 now, right? 4 0. So, as it says in the word of God, Yes, I know why I curse, but that's how I do on my channel. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 11. When I was a child, I talked like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. But when I became a man, a grown-ass man at 40, I put away the child, I put childish ways behind me. So, Floyd, you might want to listen to the word of God. You're 40. Stop being insecure. Stop thinking everything revolves around money, bro. Grow up. You know what I'm saying? And when are you going to realize, bro? Boxing greatness. Shit. Not even boxing alone. Life in general. It ain't all about money or what numbers you do. But then again, man, your middle name is Money Mayweather. So, shit. This all might be wishful thinking, man. I don't give a fuck. Everything I said was facts, Floyd. Well, whatever, then whatever the fuck ever. Bye. Shit. Everybody stop talking now, attention. What up, people? Thank you for tuning in to Strictly Boxing News. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to share it on your social media platforms such as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Reddit, or wherever you share videos online. Also, if you haven't done so already, please make sure you hit that subscribe button below. That way you'd stay updated on the latest news in the sport of boxing. Once again, Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next video. Peace.